the, the, the largest nurses association says that the problem the problem is more the private option than the public option. You, you've taken your, your top contributors are New York Life and Aetna. Why, why shouldn't yeah, and you've taken a, a, a Medicare for all type proposal off the table and now you don't even want a public option. Why shouldn't regular people assume that, that uh, as one of your colleagues put it, Congress is in the pocket of Wall Street? Well, that's an unfortunate um, characterization. Why? I do what's best uh, for the Ameri uh, for uh, my constituents and for the American people. It has nothing to do with the contributions I receive. Um, and so I'm going to continue to do the job that I've been asked to do, and that's to solve the problems in the best interest. And frankly, there are a lot of changes uh, for the private insurance industry that's uh, in, our, in our framework. Uh, and uh, in a lot of that issues that are going to make them and, and require them to perform. Yeah, yeah, you know, stock so, prices are actually going up. Well, I, you know, I have nothing to do with their stock prices. All I can do is create the best public policy. And frankly, uh, having a fallback provision, as I had recommended to the president, as an alternative, assures that you leverage that competition. There's going to be a lot of insurance market uh, reform in the plan uh, for you know, rating premiums uh, that's certainly going to affect uh, the industry, not to mention excise tax on high-cost plans and other fees uh, that will be imposed on the insurance industry. So uh, they're certainly not getting off the hook far from it. What isn't your public policy, in fact, helping them? I mean, what, in terms of I policy, think we've in answered terms of that policy, question. why I think we've answered that question. Any other questions? we got to get